let's do a little unboxing. This is not for me. This is actually the Christmas gift that I bought for my sister. Like I told you, I'm buying people. I love this holiday season, the gifts that I want, but tweaking it to meet their taste and their needs. But I love Ralph Lauren. I've always been a huge Ralph Lauren fan. Their pocketbooks last a really long time. Great quality at a, I would say like medium price point. I love that my nails match the ribbon. I took it out of the box that it was shipped in and this excited me so much. And I was like, Mike, this packaging, like this wrapping. And he's like, Fortune, it's literally a Ralph Lauren box with a bow around it. But I don't know something about it. It looks very like luxe. We have to open it very nicely and delicately. Oh. <laughs> comes with a little duster bag that says Polo by Ralph Lauren. I don't love this. This is a little cheesy, but I honestly don't even know if my sister is gonna use the duster bag. Look at how stinking cute this is. Oh my God, it's so chic. Inside it has one little pocket and then it looks like it's just open. It's like this hobo shape. And then I don't think it locks. This just flaps over like that. I love this and look how cute it goes with my outfit. It's not for me though, like I said, but I wanted the way bigger version. Oh, this is so cute. I hope she likes it. This in a much bigger version, it was like huge and it came in a yellowy, like darker camel color. You can make the strap longer because it has belt buttons there, belt buttons. And then it does expand. I wish that this kind of like went into something like looped in. And of course it has the little Ralph Lauren logo, the polo. And this is just so cute and I'm so happy. And I hope my sister loves it. Hello, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I would say welcome back to a brand new day, but it is nighttime. It is currently five o'clock, the day after the long, no, the shortest day of the year. Yesterday was the shortest day of the year. Mike and I are going out to dinner with our family tonight. I was making my list today of my best of the best, like makeup products of 2023, splitting it between high-end makeup and drugstore makeup. So I thought tonight, get ready with me using my favorite high-end products. If you're interested in seeing my rundown, of high-end favorites of 2023 and drugstore favorites of 2023 when I sit down and show you the products, actually give you the pros and cons of each. Make sure you're subscribed, click the bell. A video is coming very shortly, I would imagine next week, so get excited. Um, but we're gonna do a little just like chit chat using the higher end again while you were charging because my camera was charging. I put foundation on and it's so funny because in preparation for my favorites, of 2023, I was watching my old videos and I really hated this. Now this year I definitely toggled between three, but tonight I used the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation Light 4.5 and I put it on this half of my face. It is so natural. Like I feel like you can't even tell that half of my face has foundation and the other half doesn't, but it kind of just is a soft focus filter for my skin. And it also kind of mattifies my skin and makes my pores look smaller. I don't know if you can see the difference between this side that has nothing. And then this side where I just put an itty bitty bit of this, but I want to make both sides the same because we are going out. So I'm using my hourglass brush. You know, I love this and I'm working it off of a palette into my face. Yeah, it's funny because I was watching videos back and I kind of like lean into anger. And I feel like that's a coping mechanism and we're not gonna get too deep, I hope. Actually, we're probably gonna get very deep in this vlog because it is Christmas and it's my first Christmas without my dad. I feel like I kind of use anger as a coping mechanism because it's easier for me to feel anger than it is for me to feel sadness. But as of recently, I feel like since losing my dad, I have become softer and I don't know, maybe if you've been with me and you follow along, let me know down below in the comments. Do you see a shift in me? Because I feel like I'm a little softer just as a person and especially like with myself. Maybe that's just me trying to make myself feel better about myself. I don't know. I would love to hear your opinion. I'm gonna take my Forever Skin Correct by Dior. Guys, this is like the concealer of the century. For the longest time, I was like really struggling to find a good concealer. If you have dry skin, you will really like this because it does a good job of covering, but it doesn't pick up the texture. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk too much about the products. I'm just gonna put them on and talk to you. So I told you that my hip was bothering me and I went to an orthopedist. 
orthopedic? I don't know. I'm very bad. I honestly am not one to go to the doctor. I don't know what it is. I'm just like afraid of doctors. I'm going to make it a mission to go and get my annuals all done in January, end of January, beginning of February. I need to conquer that fear. And with like health in my family, clearly with like losing my dad in January, like if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So I need to do a better job. I went to an orthopedic, orthopedist, I don't know, my hip, bothering me. She told me that I sprained my SI joint, which I don't feel like is a good thing. I went in, she was so nice. Oh my God. She was like so smart, so nice. She made me feel so comfortable. I was so uncomfortable. Like I'm the kind of person where I also went to the doctor again. I went to the Medi Center. I got sick. I had a viral infection. I honestly thought that I had COVID. I started off with a sore throat and then I had cough. It was like a whole to do. I, and I, I worked from home majority of this week. I only went to the office one day. I was not feeling good but I went to the Medi Center and she was like okay I'm going to test you for the flu for COVID for like all this stuff and the second that she said it I was like Phew. and she saw on my face I was like you're gonna like COVID fine put it up my nose I don't care but like growing up she told me she was gonna test me for strep like you know testing for strep is not fun they stick these like things down your throat and it makes you cough. And I was immediately triggered. I was immediately triggered. And I was like, you're gonna test me for strep? And she was so sweet. She was like, I'm not gonna go deep. It's not gonna hurt, I promise you. Like, phys like really scarred. I'm like scarred from going to the doctor. I don't know what it is. It's like something, again, that I need to work on. And I'm working on it because I went to two doctors in the last like week and a half. And that's like a big deal for me. So yeah, I went to the orthopedist. She told me that I sprained my hip joint when I hurt myself about 10 years ago. I was working out, I was doing like squats. I used to go to this gym class and I felt a crunching and then a pop. And you know, your girl was 22, 10 years ago. And again, I just told you I don't like going to the doctor. You know what I did? Absolutely nothing. I just kind of like took it a little easy and then eventually hip started to feel better. It took about a month for it to feel better and I never went to the doctor. So I told the orthopedist this when I went this past week and she was like, you know, I wish you had gone to the doctor, but we can't go back in time because she said that I could have like actually done damage to my hip, in which case I might have scar tissue. And if I have scar tissue, it might be the scar tissue in my hip that's bothering me. So she wants me to go get an x-ray, which I meant to do this week, but then I got sick. And she also wants me to do PT. So I'm gonna get on track as soon as I can. I need to start making plans. I need to go to PT. I need to go get an x-ray. Yeah, it has been, it has been a hell of a year, my friends. But how has your year been? I do want to hear it. A lot of highs, a lot of lows. As with every year, I'm not gonna lie, I have this like weird feeling. A part of me is like so excited to get out of this year because this year was terrible. And I don't know why, but in my head, I'm like, let's just get out of the year. It's time to put her to bed. But also, I don't know what the changing of a year will do. At the same time though, my dad was here in 2023 and like 2024 will be the first year I didn't see my dad ever. Obviously I'm not leaving him in 2023. It kind of like feels that way to some degree. Does that make sense? Can anyone else relate? I'm trying to be stable, as stable as one can be. And I feel like I'm doing a decent job, but I also feel like I can't breathe sometimes. Right now today, I feel like, you know, I don't know what it is. It's like very strange. Givenchy, Prism Libre. And why do I do this ugly face whenever I, do you see that face? It is a hideous face. So tonight we're going to the Ashford, I think, in Jersey City. And it's supposed to be decked out in Christmas stuff. At least this is what Miguel said. So I will obviously show you all of the Christmas decorations. I will take some videos while we are there. NARS Dolce Vita. I really loved on this this year. Oh my God, this brush though also. Hourglass brushes. Guys, I'm gonna say one thing. This is a bold statement, but if there is a brush that you are thinking about and you're just like, no, it's too expensive, expensive. These brushes will last me a lifetime. Like the quality of them is so nice. They're so soft. The way that they apply makeup, I can't get, I cannot get enough. Brow product of the year. Definitely Merit Brow Gel in brown. And I've also really been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And you know what's so funny and like really rang true in terms of my makeup this year? I wasn't wearing like mascara as much. I also wasn't wearing a lot of eyeshadow because, you know, with everything that happened with my dad in the beginning of the year, I felt like I was just like an emotional mess. This was like really the year of no eye makeup for me. I think this was the only higher end lip liner that I tried. Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my God, I'm using the shade Muted Mauve and these are like MAC 
lip line. Max better in my opinion, but this formula is better than Charlotte Tilbury. I have not bought an eyeshadow palette <clears throat> in a hot minute. Eyeshadows don't excite me that much. I like a good brown and like how many palettes with neutrals can I buy? So I'm going to be honest with you, like I'm doing right now, I would just do this a lot of the time. If I just want a little definition, I might wear a red lip, honestly. And when I wear a red lip, I like a little definition in my eye. I, otherwise I feel like it can kind of like drown me out. A little bit of this, exactly what I'm doing. Taking my Laguna bronzer, which let me tell you something. Anyone who ever asks me like what bronzer to buy, I always say Laguna bronzer. The shade's great. This has lasted me a lifetime. Like honestly, I should probably stop using it. It might be like bad at this point, but like look at that. It's so good. I think I kind of want to do a glitter on the eyes because it is a holiday dinner. I don't think I showed you guys this palette. Mike bought this for me for Christmas last year and I really haven't played around with it. And I don't know what it is. I think this color is screaming to me for some reason. And yes, it is a very basic color. Ooh, and that is like chunky. I'm sure my camera is not zooming correctly. So just give me a moment and I will show you what this looks like. Love that. Wow, that's a really pretty color. Yeah, so Mike bought this for me for Christmas last year year. This is Pat McGrath. I don't think they sell this anymore, but this is the Celestial Odyssey. I'm gonna take like a bite of this and a bite of this, like it's candy. And I'm just gonna go right here. Yup. Do you see what that just did? These are really good eyeshadows. I'm gonna take this shade, the champagne shade, on a little pencil brush. My move streak. She died. I think I made it to 186 days. And then my hip was like, bitch, you are tired. And then my body was like, bitch, you are tired and sick. My streak ended. I'm a little salty about it, but honestly, I'm like proud because I kept it going for a really long time. Greatest therapy I've ever had, which therapy is also 2024 going to be a thing for me. But I really think that sometimes like moving your body is the best therapy. And there were a lot of days that I didn't feel like moving and doing anything, but I was so committed to my move ring that it kept me motivated and like I'm proud. Mike didn't love the other red that I wore the other night. You know, cause we talked about it. We had to talk about it. So I'm gonna use Aperitif by Merit. Yeah, I like it. It'll do. Honestly, I know what shoes I wanna wear. That's kind of how I go about my outfit. I work from the bottom up. It's usually like the shoes that I wanna wear or like the handbag that I wanna wear. And I wanna wear fuzzy pom-pom shoes tonight. I'll obviously show you. Babe, I have a question. What do you think about this red lip? Okay. I guess I'll show you my outfit in the meantime because he's taking a very long time. Okay, these are not the shoes that I wanted to wear because Miguel said the shoes might get ruined. I'll show you the shoes. What do you think about this red lip? It's beautiful. What does that mean? It's different than the other one that you said you didn't like. You don't like this one either. I don't love this one either. Because it's orange. Yeah. Ugh. Babe, didn't you buy me this sweater? I think, yeah, Mike bought me, Christmas? Bought me this sweater. It's Aster. I'll link everything down below. These are my Merlot, my sexy Merlot pants from Banana. First time out. These are not the shoes that I wanted to wear. Mike vetoed the shoes that I wanted to wear because he said they might get ruined. And then here's my new bag that Mike also hates. Mike doesn't like a lot of these things, but I do. And that's okay. I don't know why I even bother wearing red lips because you don't like any of them and I only wear them for you because I don't even like myself in red. I love you in a red lip, but that's like an I really like this sweater. That's a nice, can you stand like you want to be here? I want to be here. You want to be here. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Where'd she get it? The store. You look so fanciful. Thank you. Mmm. roasted marshmallows over the heat vent. Is he? There he is, my guy. Every time the heat kicks on, he sits on the heater. He's like, bitch, go out. I'm ready for you to leave so I can run the house like the king that I am. Let me show you the shoes that I wanted to wear, but Mike, I didn't realize we were like going to this restaurant that's also like, like a nightclub. Look how cute. Mike bought me these also. I don't remember for what, but he bought them for me. They're Sam Edelman. They're like velvet and they have like a pom-pom in the front. They looked better with this outfit. I'm gonna show you them on. I really don't want to ruin them, but they're so festive. Look. Look how cute those are. Honestly, my grandma is probably watching this video. She's probably saying, I told you not to wear heels because my grandma said to stop wearing heels while my hip is healing. I don't know. I can't go out. What am I going to go out in though? What am I going to go out in? Grandma, I'm sorry. Don't be upset with me. Honestly though, honestly, hip, I'm the most sorry. Like, please don't be upset with me. Honestly, let's go because Amanda should be here any minute and I don't want to get yelled at, but I'm not ready because I'm always the one that's not ready. That's so cute.
can and just order a bunch of shit. I was gonna get rid of my box lights, but honestly, thank God I didn't because I keep complaining about how the lighting in my video looks terrible. And then the other day I was gonna get rid of my box lights and I was editing a video and I was like, why would I do that when I talk about how my lighting is atrocious? Anywho, I have one final present to wrap and I want to show you the present because it's for my mom and I bought it from my favorite pocketbook place. You might be thinking, is it Valentino? Is it Louis? Is it Gucci? No, it's Gianni Carini, my favorite Italian brand. The box came a little not well, um, so I'm a little concerned about it, but oh, yes! Oh, it came with a bag. This is nice. Maybe I'll just throw it in a bag and call it a day. This is a nice ass bag. But then I feel bad because then my mom will be the only one who doesn't get my nightmare before Christmas. TBD. TBD. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I bought my mom something and I bought myself something. But it, like girl math. When you buy something from this company, you buy it from Italy. This place, this company is based in Florence. So they charge you a shipping fee. I was just like, you know what? If I'm gonna pay the fee, I might as well get one bag shipped for free. Because I bought two. That might not make sense. But in my head, it makes sense. And that justifies this. Okay. Oh, so cute. I love the red. Very Christmassy. If you know anything about Donna, you know that her favorite color is purple and that if it's the right purple, she can't resist it. And I feel like this is the right purple. It's like a lot more purple on camera, darker in real life. I don't know if she's gonna like this. I hope that she's gonna like this. I feel like the straps are good. It's like a good strap 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 length i don't know i just feel like she's gonna really like it honestly it came a few days ago and i've been busy being sick you know because i had a viral infection and i didn't unwrap it and i kind of wish that i did because she looks a little squished let's show you what she looks like she's a tote bag i would say she's not like too big though but it has a zipper which my mom doesn't like a zipper i feel like she's gonna get over it it's spacious in there and it's soft leather which i love a soft leather Again, I just wish that she wasn't so squished in the front. All right, I need to stuff her. I'm gonna stuff her and pray for the best. But it's a pretty color. In real life, it's like an eggplant purple. It looks more like Barney on the camera. I'm gonna show Mike though. I feel like she's gonna love it. I feel like she's just gonna see purple and she's gonna be like, oh, I love it. And then look, I caught myself opening this damn box. Can't be trusted. Okay, this I bought for myself, all right? But I saw this and I was just like, you know what? I need like an everyday bag and it's navy and I don't own a navy bag. Oh, it's perfect. It's literal perfection. Look at this. It's like very vintage looking. Oh, it's like a crinkly. Oh my God, guys, this is it. The, she's beautiful. Okay, look at this. I love this like chunky zipper. It has the logo on it. Crossbody bag, crossbody bag. It has a crossbody strap. Oh my, look at how beautiful that is. This is cute. I don't think I would like it with the long strap though. So you can hold her like this or like on the crook of your arm like this. And she's a squishy textured leather. I'm not a crossbody kind of gal. I love a shoulder bag, but you know, it's nice to have, see like, and this is an awkward crossbody. It's like too long for me. It like hits me too awkward and it's not adjustable. When I'm like going shopping or like going somewhere where the day is gonna be long and I know I'm not gonna wanna carry it. This is like pretty though. I don't, it's like a, a navy purple. And then the inside, it's like a big bucket bag with one zipper over here. Yeah, this is cute. Now I was honestly between this color and like the most beautiful red color. And I'm gonna link this down below so you can see it in both of the colors. The red was like a beautiful ruby red. I'm glad I got it in this color, but I think the red would have been cute too. I don't like to say how I feel immediately a lot of the times because I don't know what it is. I like take a long time to process my emotions. Does this make sense? A lot of the times, not with beauty though, but I tend to like bite my tongue when I spend a decent amount of money on something and I'm like, ooh, do I regret this? Because oftentimes, immediately I will either love something or I will immediately be like, oh, this was not a good idea, but then I end up loving it. Like my opinion often changes. So when I unbox this, I was like, I feel like I should have got something else. But guys, something about this size, it's like the most convenient handbag. I put my phone, I put my wallet, 
And Lord knows between the sickness and the sadness, I need tissues and this. Like, let's go to ShopRite. Let's go buy food for Christmas and Christmas Eve. And she's ready. Like, it's honestly the perfect bag. And I love it. My thought after I bought this was that this is loud. And my favorite bag at the moment has been this bag. Okay, it's not loud until you put it on your shoulder and you see that it's Fendi. But it's not, I guess it's loud in its own way. But I've been into like a smooth leather bag. Doesn't have a loud print. Like, I don't know, I'm not into this bag. And this is an odd example because when I got this, I loved it. And I will say, it's like there's shit in it. So I'm clearly using it. But it's so light for a big bag that it's like perfect for travel. But also the same token in the way that I travel, like when Mike and I go to California, I'm not gonna bring this as my carry-on. I'm gonna bring my Tumi backpack because the way that I pack my carry-on is like almost unlawful. Is that a word? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, it should be illegal. I still like her. I just feel like she's like just not, I'm not vibing with her right now. Maybe in the summer. I feel like this might be more of a summer bag for me. I feel like I'm also rambling, but this bag I've been loving and now I'm happy that this bag is in the rotation. And I'm also excited, like I, I think I'm good. I think she has enough handbags. I keep saying to myself, I'm gonna get to the point where I'm good in my collection, but I don't know if I'll ever feel good in my collection. I just enjoy them so much. It's like I look forward to like what handbag I'm gonna use. I know I told you that I wanted to be like a sommelier and travel the world and I still wanna do that, but like also another thing I could do. I wanna do like my own like fashion file or like who's that woman, Re Deluxe. She basically sells secondhand vintage goods. I kinda wanna do that. Like I feel like I really love designer things and I really love like Rent the Runway and that's like a sustainable thing. I'm sure they do this already, but like what about a subscription for like handbags? That would be amazing for me, honestly, because I could buy handbags for my business and it would be like the best of all worlds. Like I would buy the bag, I would check out the bag. Like I'm definitely gonna wear the bag. Like. Buy the bag, wear the bag, and then when I'm done with the bag, put it in the rotation of like monthly subscription designer bags that you get to pick from. I just feel like that would be a really good calling for me. I see big things happening for me. What they are, I don't know. Clearly I have a lot of ideas. What, which ideas are not too outlandish? I don't know if there are any. You know, I have been sitting and writing a lot more, just like things that make me happy. And a lot of things that make me happy are beauty related. And I don't know, I think I wanna love makeup again. That sounds so dramatic, but this is just like something that I've realized in the past like week. I've incorporated makeup here. Obviously, I feel like it's very clear regardless of what kind of videos of mine you watch. Like beauty is such a big part of my life. It's just something that I enjoy. It's something that I've always enjoyed. Like I genuinely enjoy being a woman and like taking the time to like pamper myself, look my best. Although a lot of times I don't look my best. I don't look like this most days, but this doesn't take a lot of time. I wanna dedicate more time to like me, to myself. I feel like this year was a sad year. Like clearly I'm just reflecting back and I feel like I did a good job doing things that make me happy. Like I love working out, but I need to like make more time to do the things that I love. Like I do a decent job, I feel like on the daily. I think in 2024, I want to really like step into the woman that I want to be in a more fearless way. And I think that's gonna be my 2024 resolution. Like I've just been writing things down and it's like, I'm proud of me for getting through it. I mean, clearly like it just because the calendar turns 2024 doesn't mean that I don't have work to do. I clearly have so much work to do, but I'm proud of like myself this year, but I have such a long way to go and I feel grateful sitting here. I have the time and the chance to make those improvements. I don't know. I feel like me, I've always been someone that's striving to be a better version of me, but very scared. I feel like I'm naturally a very scared person. So I kind of take the easy route a lot of the time, 
which I feel like, you know, is a good thing because, you know, it got me to where I am today and I'm proud of where I am today. And I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for that kind of like safety, like yearning for like safe, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, I, it's made me a very like level-headed person. But I kind of want to step into that more not so sure version of me. And I think I want to like leave my comfort zone. This year I was comfortable just being like, you know, like that, because emotionally I needed like the stability. But I think in 2024, in 2024, four, I want to have no fear. I can't speak. And I don't think that that's going to change next year. But yeah, I don't know. I've been writing down. I just wanted to share that with you. And if you're going through a rough time, I don't know. I feel like this year was a little rough for everybody. Hmm? Just write down things that make you happy. Look at these post-its that my husband drew for me though. Let's stop being so deep for a second and take a minute. My heart will go on. He drew me the Titanic and down with the king. And the king is saying, bitch, down with the king, bitch. I don't know, but I love them. And I saved like so many of these notes. I feel bad the other night. Well, the other day I stayed home cause I was sick and Mike left a note and it was like, feel better, love you. And I threw the post-it out. And that was the first post-it I think that he's ever written me a note on that I threw out. And he like kind of called me out for it, but I have so many notes. And that one just like wasn't on this level. I have a lot of I love yous. This is my planner. It says, enjoy your coffee. Have a good day. I love you, exclamation point. And I literally look at that every day. So. If you're watching this, Michael, I'm very much obsessed with you. I don't know how I looked out. It's kind of wild, honestly. It's kind of wild where I am. I, I feel like I've been reflecting a lot and it's wild to see like what my life is now as opposed to like what my life was 10 years ago. It's kind of crazy. I lived in an apartment. The basement was roach infested, which I didn't see like that many roaches, but I saw enough roaches. And now look at me. Oh my God. It was a crazy year and I want to keep reflecting on this year and I think that that's going to help me move into next year a better version of me. So I'm writing and really long story short, it's been cathartic? Is that the word? Y'all know I'm not good at words. I'm making a list of my best purchases of 2023 and I need to not spend money next year because I bought a lot of things that I really loved though. So next year I need to invest in me. Well, I, but I find like, but I honestly think that buying handbags, I feel like I'm investing in me and my happiness. You know, it is what it is. This is who I've always been. I love shopping. I love spending money and I also love making money and working. So 2024. A better version, but like I, I'm, I'm not gonna be a totally different person. We need to embrace who we are at the same time. Brogan's by the Poisonettas. It's a Poisonetta farm. Poinsettis. Poinsettis. What nice plates. Who helped you pick these plates out? You did. All is right in the world because we put the right sticker on the right day. Well, this year is under protest. Merry Christmas. Why is it under protest? Because I wanted Merry Christmas to be on the two this year. Why would you want it to be on the two? It. it belongs here. I like chaos. I don't. Will he eat them? Yeah. Where did he go, our little friend? Merry Christmas to the squirrels. Yes, 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 yes. He took one. Look at him munching on it. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna be honest, I have cried a lot since last night. Um, it's Christmas day and I'm doing really like makeup. My mom yesterday told me that she loved my makeup. So I'm just doing it again. I put my sunscreen on. I put my Lily Henriksen Banana Bright eye cream. And now I just put a little bit of this Dior Backstage Concealer. I thought this was a little orange for me, but honestly it's less orange when I don't pair it with the foundation. So that's what I've been doing. Patting this into my skin and I'm just using this concealer as my foundation. I'm doing like a really, really light makeup. I'm not putting any eye stuff on because I don't know. I was like pretty good yesterday. I had such a nice time on Christmas Eve. It was sad because my dad wasn't there and normally my dad does a lot of the cooking and it was just like weird, obviously. I did have a really nice time. My mom made it, you know, really special and we had a lot of food, we had a lot of laughs. I'm taking my OG contour stick. I was good until I started driving home. I feel like I'm pretty good until I get in the car by myself. And then it's kind of like game over for me, no matter what I listen to. On the way to my mom's, I was pretty good. I listened to Tim McGraw because I was just in a bad mood. I needed to get myself in a better mindset. So I listened to Tim McGraw on the way there. And my mom's calling me. Hello. 
I want to say Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry person. Christmas. Well, I'm oh, person. This isn't in person. I had in a voice. Oh. Merry Christmas. In a voice. I don't want to say Merry Christmas to you there. That's oh, weird. Is it? Uh, you know, well, I'd rather say it through. Well, I'll text you this morning or call you. Hello. Good morning. It's the day after Christmas and I think I left you yesterday on Christmas when I was getting ready. I was gonna show you the makeup that I wore the other day. So my mom called me and I got to talking with her and I, I don't know. I think I was starting to tell you this yesterday, but Christmas Eve, I had such a nice time. My mom made it really, really nice. There was a lot of laughter. It was just, it was a good time. Great minds think alike with the wrapping paper. And I got her by the Oh my God, look at zero. That's cute, wow. Can you show us the blanket that you got her, please? Yeah, but she's on it. Look, it's a sweet girl and her sweet blanket. Oh, it's so cute. What a sweetie boy. A Mally for the alley. She loves it. Robert, it is 20 pounds of blanket. Oh. She loves each one. You should save a couple. Here's a lamb chop. Wait, Snicker. Lamb chop. Another lamb chop. She's going to love them. And I got in the car to drive home, and it's just like I hate driving to my parents' house by myself. I just hate it because I get emotional on the way there. And I was like a little emotional on the way there, but not as emotional as I was after you know, Christmas Eve was over and it was like the realization that it was my first Christmas Eve without my dad. So on the way home, I kind of like sobbed the whole way home. And at one point I was like uncontrollably sobbing and like could not drive. So I had to like pull over. And it's like kind of hard though, because I'm just upset by myself all the time because I don't want to upset other people. Like, I don't want to get my husband upset because like, you know, it's his Christmas too. But I think that that doesn't help me at the same time. I'm not good at articulating how I feel. And I think in 2024, I maybe should go to therapy to like work on that because I know I'm sad, but then I go from like sad to angry and then I'm angry and then I'm bitter and then I feel bad about being angry and bitter, but I'm very terrible at explaining how I feel. Anywho, but then yeah, so Christmas morning, I was pretty upset. And then I went to my cousins and it was nice because, you know, growing up, I spent Christmas with my dad's family. So it felt very nostalgic and familiar. And, you know, it was nice to be around my dad's family because my dad's not here anymore. I just like can't explain to you how surreal it feels. And I really wasn't expecting like this feeling. Like I thought I was gonna be sad, obviously, and clearly I'm sad, but I don't know. It's like, it's not like I expected my dad to like pop up and be like, oh, Merry Christmas, hello. But I think it's just like a big realization that, you know, he's gone. And like, I'll never spend another Christmas with him. And I feel very like stuck. And I have to say, I think that, you know, not working out for the last like week has not helped my mental health either. I just feel very stuck and like sad. And like today I stayed in bed until like 9.40 and I can't remember the last time I was in bed until 9.40. I've been doing a really good job of like waking up at a decent time. And you guys know I love to wake up early and I love to get things done. I just feel defeated by the morning because I didn't wake up. It's all a mental game. I'm well aware, but I just feel sad. And today I feel like I have a Christmas headache hangover, which is terrible because like I said, I really need to like pack. And I wanted to like share with you guys what I got for Christmas. But like, honestly, the best thing about it was spending time with my family because that's really what Christmas is about. I love all of my gifts. Like I feel silly, like sitting here and being like, look at what I got for Christmas. Yesterday at Christmas, it was fun. Like the food was delicious. My cousin, <laughs> legs put together like a Jeopardy game. It was so funny. She made like a whole board and it, it was hysterical. Oh my God, Santa, <laughs> Santa, yeah. Fabulous. My team won, obviously. And then uh, me and my cousins played Uno. I won a round of Uno. We played two rounds. I won one of them. And I think we were all just like really happy to be together because we don't often get together. And it was nice um, to be with everybody. I didn't do much of anything aside from pack all day, whiten my teeth, eat the shit out of my lips and stay in my pajamas. It's 5.15, so I think I'm just gonna 
keep them on until I go to bed. I think I just need some time to myself and I have a holiday hangover. And no, it is not from drinking. I just feel like my emotions are just shot from this entire holiday season. Look at how cute this mug is though. Like I love the holidays though because of things like this. My aunt got me this for Christmas. Meowy Christmas, it's so cute. I think I deserve a little break. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I can't wait to go to California, get a little vacation time in with my husband. I think we need some time away. So until then, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Again, I hope you had a very happy holiday, happy new year, but there will be more uploads here. So, you know, I'm not going completely away until the new year, but I am gonna take a break from filming. It was quite the year. So I'm ready to just say hello to 2024. And I hope that you will stick around with me in the new year and we can continue to hang out. So thank you so much. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.